All right, guys, holy crap. Today, I got an email from Spirit Halloween about one of the coolest things, in my opinion, that they have ever released. Now, this is not an animatronic. This is a static prop. I have all my zombie babies behind me over here, including this guy right back here that you can see, Grim with a pirate hat on. It has nothing to do with any of those, except for kind of the zombie babies, because they are made of foam. And I am assuming that these guys are about the same size. What I'm talking about today is the brand new for 2023 Horror Babies from Spirit Halloween. We are going to take a look at each and every one of these right now. There are only four that I'm aware of right now. If you go to the website and you just search for Horror Babies, you can find them. I will put a link below in this video. Whew. But as you can see right here, guys, we have it pulled up. They have a Pennywise, a Ghostface, a Sam, and a Leatherface. Now, I gotta say right off the bat, man, I love all of these. You guys know how much I love Ghostface. And I love Sam too, but I gotta say, my favorite and, in my opinion, the best looking one, just taking a glance at these, is the Leatherface. I think that guy looks so awesome. So we're gonna save him for last. Let's go ahead and get started with one that everybody knows, Sam. Look at this guy. How cool is that? These are $49.99 a piece, which man, I mean, that is like really at the top of the scale for these but they are so cool. Now, it does say down here in the dimensions that these are 14 inches tall. At least this one is. It might be different with the other ones, and we will take a look at those. Um, but Sam is 14 inches tall, 10.8, basically 11 inches wide, 10 inches deep. Um, man, made of foam with latex. This guy looks totally awesome. So let's just go down the pictures of him here. <laughs> He's just sitting there holding his lollipop and he looks so cool. Now here's one um, where he's turned to the side a little bit. The details on this guy are so good. I love the way the burlap looks. It actually looks like burlap. It's so cool. Now in this one, he's turned a little bit more, well, to the other side. Here's a straight on side shot. Um, here's a straight on side shot from the other side. And then we have a picture of him from the back and he has the butt flap. Sam has the butt flap. <laughs> so very, very cool. Yeah, $49.99 each, um, 14 inches tall. So he's about the same size as any one of the zombie babies that you guys know so well. So that is Sam right there. Let's go back and let's look next at Pennywise. Okay, so here he is. Here's Pennywise. And let's see, in the description here, yeah, he's also 14 inches tall, 10 inches wide, 9 inches deep. Um, and deep just means like from front to back. So he's, like I said, you know, the same size as the other one basically and the same size as the zombie babies as we know them. So here's a picture of him from the front and he is holding the SS Georgie, the paper boat that Georgie lets float down the road and gets him caught in the sewer in the first place. Man, this guy just looks so cool. They did such a good job with these. Here's one slightly to the side, slightly to the other side. Here's one uh, <laughs> straight on from the side. I just, I love the shape of his head. His head is so perfectly round. What the heck, man? And then here's one from the other side. That, now, they don't have a picture from the back, but, you know, maybe there's nothing to see from the back. Um, but, man, what a cool prop. That one and Sam, they're both totally awesome. Let's go ahead back now and let's look at Ghostface here. Okay, here we go. So Ghostface, <laughs> I, I love how they gave him this smile on his face um, rather than like the scary drooping mouth that we know of from Scream. Uh, he actually reminds me more of Scary Movie 
than of Scream. But it, it's totally awesome, and he's wearing a black hoodie rather than wearing, like, a, uh, a gown. So um, let's take a look. Here's a picture from the front. Um, and looking at him from the front, it looks like he's holding a sword. And that's what I thought at first, and I thought, why would you make him with a sword? That doesn't make any sense. But when we look at the side views, you can begin to see there's one from the side, from the other side, and then when we go on the full-on side, you can see that it actually is a knife. And it is actually modeled after the Buck 120, which is the knife that they actually use in Scream Part 1. So I'm glad about that, because they have several different kinds of Scream knives on the market, and the only one that really is accurate is this one that he's holding right here, the Buck 120. So there's from the other side here, and then here's a picture from the back. I mean, these are all just so cool. And again, we're looking at the size here. He's 14 inches tall, 11 inches wide, 11 inches deep. I can't even talk. <laughs> um, but how cool, man. And I did notice on here it also says limit of two units per order on each of these. So they expect these are going to sell fast. And I guarantee they are. As soon as I got the email, I jumped on there and I was going to buy them. And I thought, you know what? I like to wait and see this stuff in the store and actually buy them from the store. There's just something about that process that I like. Picking something up, looking at it, and going, man, this thing is totally awesome. I'm going to buy this. When you buy something online, it's just strictly about it being easy. And, um, you know, I'm going to wait till I get to see these in the store. So let's go back here and let's go to the one that I said that I personally think looks the best. And that is the Leatherface. Man, I mean, I got to hand it to them. They did such an awesome job with this one. This is definitely my favorite right from the get-go. Again, he's 14 inches tall, 10 inches wide, 9 inches deep. <laughs> I just love this guy. He is so perfect. The detail is so awesome. I, I mean, look at his face. And he's got, like, the uh, the stitching all around on the face. The mouth is correct. What is he holding there? Is that a... It looks like he's holding a sledgehammer. We'll get to that in a second here. But he's got his yellow apron on um, with blood. He's got his tie on. Man, I just love this guy so much. So let's go to these pictures. Here's one slightly from the side, and yeah, that appears to be a sledgehammer. There's from the other side. I love the detail on this thing. How cool is this? Oh, he's even got a little chain bracelet on. That is awesome. And, and I don't recall, like, in the movie if he's actually wearing a chain bracelet, but I would guess that that is probably... Um, if he's not wearing it in the movie, it's probably put on there to kind of signify, yes, we know that he uses a chainsaw, but we couldn't really make a chainsaw. They probably tried, and it probably just didn't work with this prop, um, but he does, <laughs> he does have the sledgehammer, though, and that is cool enough. So here's a picture from the other side. Oh my gosh. I, I just love everything about this one. Look how his head is like slightly turned down, but he's still looking forward. That is so creepy. And then here's a picture from the back, and you can see where the sledgehammer actually has a pointed end and then a flat end as well. This is so cool. This is definitely my favorite out of all four so very cool. I'm so excited about these guys, and I hope we get to see them all in the stores this year. I'm just so excited about this season coming up, guys. The 40th anniversary. It's Everything's going to be so awesome. So, yeah, here's um one more shot of all four of them together. And like I said, they're $49.99 right now on the website. Limit of two per person. Um... That probably doesn't mean you can only buy two of the four. That probably means you can only buy one of each. So you can go on there and buy all four today. You're only allowed to buy one of each. And I, I'd have to say, I expect these to go pretty dang fast. So if you want one, get on the website now and buy it. Guys, whew, 
I love Halloween. Ha, ha, ha.